Hey everyone, it's uh, Pastor Paul Krampitz. I want to tell you uh, what's coming up uh, this coming Sunday, November 8th. 2020 November 8th is the uh, 23rd Sunday after Pentecost and uh, we have a, a, a difficult parable in our gospel reading it's from uh, Matthew 25 it's uh, it's known as the parable of the ten bridesmaids uh, five of them deemed wise and five deemed foolish uh, I want to lift up one of the references uh, in, in the parable it's um, the, the bridesmaids all have oil lamps and uh, they're waiting for the bridegroom to come. Um, the bridegroom is delayed for some reason they don't know. Um, so they all fall asleep. Uh, they're, they're woken up uh, by a shout that the bridegroom is there. And so the bridegrooms all, or bridesmaids rather, all get up and they trim their lamps. So what does it mean to trim a lamp? Well, I, I don't have any oil lamps uh, handy here, but here on the, uh, around the deck of the parsonage, we do have some tiki lamps. So these are filled with oil. And to, uh, to trim the lamp actually refers to trimming the wick, uh, this, this part right here. So there's actually an ideal length for a, a wick. If uh, the wick is too long, um, the flame gets really smoky and it burns uh, an excess amount of oil. So the purpose of trimming the wick is so that the, uh, the light is uh, efficient and the energy goes into producing light and, and not a lot of smoke, not a lot of carbon uh, building up around the lamp. And then, um, of course, so it doesn't consume as much oil. Um, the foolish bridesmaids are ones who um, don't bring any extra oil with them so they've, they've really done everything right they've they've trimmed their lamps you know they're they're ready to go but they, they run out of fuel there isn't enough so I'm, I'm wondering what it looks like for us as church uh, during this time of pandemic to um, not only trim our wicks um, so that our ministry is effective uh, and efficient. Um, but what are the ways that we can keep our flask of oil filled? What is, what is the oil that we need? Um, I, I'm convinced that one of the things we need most is, is faith and trust and hope. And keeping a focus on what it means to be church which really means to be a place where God's love is made known and shared with others. Um, it's really easy during these difficult times to become um, focused solely on, you know, ourselves and, and making sure that we're doing okay. Um, but we really need to, to trim <laughs> our wicks a little bit and remember that the purpose of who we are as church is about others as well. So uh, a lot to think about. There's some uh, a difficult ending to this parable that I hope to uh, find some good news in. But anyway, I just wanted to get you thinking about uh, the parable. It's Matthew, uh, the 25th chapter, and the parable goes from verse 1 to verse 13. So uh, this coming Sunday, we have service of word and prayer. We will be live streaming that. Um, you can view that on our Facebook page. Um, because uh, we're not outdoors in person, this uh, service will begin with a prelude at 9.15. Liturgy begins at 9.30. And then around uh, 10.30, um, we will gather virtually for our Zoom coffee hour. Hope to see you all on Sunday. Until then, goodbye and God bless.